Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel Geography with Joy. This is Suva Lakshmi back again with a new chapter with lot more informations. I hope you all are doing well and ready to take my class. So, what do I have for you today? Hmm, something very interesting. But before that, please subscribe my channel and like and share my video. What's next? Let's go into the class. Today's class is on natural vegetation and the scope of the chapter is types of vegetation, tropical evergreen, tropical deciduous, tropical desert, littoral and mountain forest, importance of forest, distribution and correlation with their environment and forest conservation. But the chapter is little lengthy and conceptual too. Hence, I have divided the chapter into two parts. In part one, we will be learning about importance of forest and types of vegetation. And in part two, we will be concentrating on distribution and correlation with the environment and forest conservation. And today's class is on part one. Natural vegetation. It refers to the plant cover that has grown naturally without human interference. Grasses, shrubs and trees which grow naturally constitute the natural vegetation of an area. Forest refers to a large tract of land covered with trees and accompanying undergrowth of shrubs, herbs and sustaining thousands of life forms which include both plants and animals. Now, what's the importance of forest? Let's have a look. Forests are renewable resources and help in maintaining ecological balance. They help in purifying air, help in controlling soil erosion. They are a source of timber, fruits, flowers and fuel. They provide habitat to a large variety of wild animals, birds, etc. They provide raw materials to many industries, provide employment to thousands of people. They regulate the water cycle. They help in conserving water in the subsoil. They provide aesthetics and recreation to human beings through natural parks, wildlife sanctuaries, and biosphere reserves, etc. Types of vegetation. There are two factors on which the type of natural vegetation and its distribution depend upon. They are variation in the amount of rainfall and variation in relief. Now based on variation in rainfall, they are divided into three. They are tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest and tropical desert forest. Now based on variation in relief, they are divided into two, mountain forest and littoral or mangrove forest. Now, let's discuss about tropical evergreen forest in detail. Tropical evergreen forests are also called as tropical rainforest. They are made up of evergreen trees. Now, what are the characteristics of this type of forest? They are dense tall, multi-layered and have many kinds of trees and shrubs. They do not shed their leaves at the same time of the year and hence always appear green. So the name is evergreen forest. Now what are the climatic conditions required for this type of forest to be grown? Temperature should be 25 degree to 27 degree Celsius and rainfall should be more than 200 centimeter annually. Now let's have a look at the areas or states where we find this type of forest. Western slope of the Western Ghats, hills of northeastern regions, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now let's have a look at this rainforest. We can see varieties of trees, shrubs, herbs, 
they are green and wet too this is another picture of evergreen forest another green and dense too now what are the important trees grown in this forest there are so many important and valuable trees grown in this forest for example rosewood it is used for making expensive furnitures as these are hard and durable ebony used for ornamental carving and musical instruments gurjan another hardwood used for construction work railway sleepers furnitures tone it is used for making toys and tea boxes now what is the economic value of these products these forests produce various plant species of high economic value as timber is hard durable and fine grained but due to dense undergrowth and lack of transport forests have not been fully exploited yet the next is tropical deciduous forest these forests are also known as monsoon forest they are the most widespread forest in india based on the availability of water these forests are further categorized into two types the moist deciduous forest and dry deciduous forest now have a look at the characteristics the trees shed their leaves once in a year they occur in pure stands they are commercially the most exploited now have a look at the climatic conditions required to grow this type of forest temperature around 24 to 27 degrees celsius and rainfall in between 150 to 200 cm per annum have a look at the areas or states where we find deciduous forest northern states along the foothills of himalayas eastern slopes of the western ghats maharashtra uttar pradesh orissa etc important trees are teak used for ship building construction and furniture sal used for railway sleepers and construction sandalwood for ornamental objects sandalwood oil and perfumeries sesam for construction purposes and agricultural implements what's the economic value here this forest yield valuable timber and sandalwood products this is a deciduous forest with tall trees and pure stands they shed their leaves once in a year look at the fall season oh how beautiful it is they will shed their leaves at the same time and will be on new leaves before spring and will become green tropical desert forest they are also known as tropical thorn forest characteristics deserts have xerophytic vegetation trees are stunted because of paucity of rainfall have long deep root to draw water from deep inside the earth leaves are modified into spines to minimize transpiration stems are modified to become thick and succulent to retain water have a look at this beautiful picture a dry land can also be beautiful here can you see the leaves are reduced to spines to minimize the transpiration and the stems are thick these are cactus they are succulent and fleshy this is a dry land but they can survive because they are xerophytic plant climatic conditions required for desert forest temperature should be in between 27 to 32 degrees celsius rainfall less than 50 cm per annum 
areas or states where we find desert forest are southwestern punjab haryana uttar pradesh central and eastern rajasthan madhya pradesh gujarat etc important trees are date palm can be eaten raw used as an astringent neem barks and roots have medicinal value used as insecticides babul bark and gum have medicinal value used to make toothpaste bear it's a fruit and its wood can be used to make agricultural implements boat ribs as timber is hard strong and durable the next is littoral forest they are also known as tidal forest characteristics they are characterized by breeding roots which act as respiratory organs its stilt like roots remain submerged under water with a profuse growth of climbers they survive in both fresh and brackish water these forests are very dense climatic conditions temperature should be in between 26 to 29 degrees celsius and rainfall should be more than 200 cm per annum these are mangrove trees it's a tidal forest can you see the long breeding roots hanging from the branches of the tree act as a respiratory organ these are again breeding roots exposed during low tides areas and states where we find littoral forest are deltas of large rivers on the eastern coast in pockets on the western coast in saline swamps of the sundarbans in west bengal coastal areas of andhra pradesh and orissa important trees are sundari tree its wood is hard and durable hence it is used for boat making mangrove trees used for fuel the last one is mountain forest they are also known as alpine or montane forest they are found in mountainous regions where temperature decreases with the increase in altitude now the characteristics this forest contain mixed species of broad leaved evergreen trees and conifers they also contain scrubs creepers and ferns cone shaped trees with needle like leaves are found at high altitudes now what's the climatic condition required for mountain forest temperature should be less than 20 degrees celsius and rainfall should be in between 150 to 250 cm per annum now areas and states where we find the mountain forest are the himalayan zone from kashmir to sikkim arunachal pradesh and nilgiris in the south look at the beauty of this mountain forest pine trees are in plenty they are cone shaped and leaves are needle like to slide down the snow and avoid frost this beautiful waterfall is adding the beauty to the scene and this is another beautiful sight oh i feel as if i am in the heaven what do you think can you see the trees what's the shape they are cone shaped can you see there are lot many shrubs and creepers down observe properly this is a mountain forest do we have any important trees in mountain forest yes we do have like the odor which is used to make railway sleepers and window frames chir pine used for making furniture and tea chest spruce 
a soft white wood used for construction work and packing cases walnut used for making musical instruments and for flooring and furniture what's the economic value of these products soft wood of conifers is used for making paper matches packing cases and planks pine is used for its resin turpentine varnishes medicines etc this is the end of part 1 i hope your concepts are clear and understood the topic comfortably in my next class i'll concentrate on conservation of forest till then bye bye and thanks for watching